In this video, we are going to see how to learn by just looking at menus in Office. This is PowerPoint, but the same concept applies to any software which has menus like this. Where is the menu? File, Home, Insert, Draw, these are menus. Actually, they are called tabs. So you click on each, the tab opens and the buttons below it are shown. File is a special one. Why? Because the moment you click on file, it occupies the full screen. Don't worry. Why does it do so? Because there are a lot of things to be shown. And while the file menu is open, you can't do anything else. That's why it occupies the full screen. Go back by clicking on this arrow or press escape. Now these are tabs, home, insert, draw and so on. All of them have lot of buttons. And then there is a broad area here. That's why it's called a ribbon. Now look at the vertical lines. There are buttons which are separated by these vertical lines. What do they mean? They are groups of related buttons. And each group is given a name. So before you read or look at individual buttons, look at the group names. Most often people miss them. So everything about clipboard is here, everything about slides is here and so on. Now some of these groups at the corner have this small little arrow. What are these things? These actually open the dialog. For example, in font, there are so many options, they can't fit into this area. So if you want to see the whole dialog, you click here. This is the font dialog. Within the group, we have multiple types of buttons. But important thing to remember is if you look at a button or use a button very often, it's a good idea to know whether it has a shortcut or not. Some of them you already know, but even if you don't know a shortcut, but if it is available, it will be shown in the tooltip. Hover on that button for a second, then the tooltip comes. Format Painter does not have any shortcut, but some tooltips are very useful to understand what that particular thing does. For example, look at the FYI portion, saying to apply formatting to multiple places, double click. So it's teaching you. Some buttons have double sided functionality. What does that mean? This is the bottom part of the button. This is the top part of the button. What's the difference? The top part of the button will do the default action, in which case it is new slide. Bottom part of the button will open and show more options. Many people have never opened the drop down and missed out on many useful features. Then, depending on what you are looking at, there are galleries. For example, I have selected a picture. Then I go to picture format. You see a drop down here. This opens into what is called as a gallery and hovering on each item will change something. This is like visual what if analysis. You don't have to click, just move the mouse cursor and the effect is shown temporarily. If you like it, you click. If you don't like any of them, just go away, click outside. Also at the bottom, you should notice there is something here. This is called status bar. Many useful things are shown there. It's in your interest to learn what each one of them does. Right click on an empty area will show you more options. Look at them and enable the ones which are useful to you. Now some menus or some tabs rather appear and go away only when required. For example, if I have not selected anything, picture toolbar went away. Only when I click on a picture, it will come back. Similarly, if I click on a shape, then shape format will come and so on. So these are contextual tabs. They come and go as and when required. And finally, there are menus in the right click. Depending on where you right click, the menus will change. For example, right now I am clicking on this text. So this is the menu we got. If I right click on an empty area of the slide, the options are completely different. It understands where you right click and accordingly, it changes the option which are relevant in that place. So it's a good way of learning what can I do here. Here meaning where I right clicked. 
So here's another way to explore and learn while you work. That's it. Happy exploration. Thank you.